Hey, what's going on? This is the one and only 2007, and I'm coming to you with a video on uh, how to uh, how to root and the, and afterwards how to install ROMs onto the phone. Can't really show exactly how to do it, but I'm gonna show the programs that you need, the step by step basically on what to do for your Samsung to root your Samsung Vibrant and afterwards to install the ROM. Now, first thing you're gonna need is your computer, your laptop, and um, all your other accessories, your USB cable, phone itself. And first thing to do on your laptop or computer is um, go online, Google uh, Samsung Vibrant One Click, uh, Samsung Vibrant One Click Root. It's going to give you that program right there, Vibrant One Click Root. Um, let's see. Uh, I believe, yeah. Um, when t once you download the the zipped the zipped folder, you have to uh, extract the files, and then there's gonna be a program. Let's see if I could find it in there. Yeah, you're gonna see T-Mobile Vibrant One Click Root. You double click that. Okay, well, I didn't extract. Okay, well, once you extract it, you double click that, and it's gonna open a. Fo it's gonna open a pro the program itself. Basically, you're gonna see the Android figure on the right, and then it's gonna s it's gonna have two button two links. One button is gonna say one click root, and the other button is gonna do un is gonna have unroot. Now, when that opens, before you click the root button. Go to your phone and mount the USB cord. Okay, it's mounted. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Make sure that under settings. You go to <coughs> um, where is it? Oh, no, that's not it. Okay. Go to applic uh -huh. click uh, applications. Go to USB settings, and right here where it says USB debugging, it's telling me to turn it off because it's on. But if it, you know if yours is off, make sure that it's on. And once it's on, all you gotta do is mount it. You connect it, then you go back to your computer, and then on that T-Mobile Vibrant One Click Root, you click Root. Once you click Root, your phone is going to uh, do it by itself, it's going to shut off and turn back on, and then you're rooted. And now, uh, after you're rooted, it's going to give you an extra program which is that right there super user and uh, I believe I believe that's it uh, aside from your uh, other apps make sure that you have ROM manager installed onto your phone and then go online search for ROMs on the XDA developer website they got a couple good ROMs out there um, right now I'm running Xera 2.1 uh, they said that they were gonna have a final Xera, which was one before the before the 2.1. They said that that was gonna be the last one, 
But uh, they came out with 2.1, so I guess they're going to keep on coming with some ROMs. They also got the McNutt R14. I didn't really give that one a shot because I didn't see any difference. And this one I really like. It's really smooth. Uh, I don't have any problems with it. And um, right now I'm on, uh, I'm clocked at a thousand CPU. It was pretty good. Doesn't freeze up on me. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Uh, like I said, go to Google first and search T Mobile Vibrant One Click Root. Look for the program, install it onto your laptop or computer. And uh, extract the files because it's going to be a zipped folder. Extract the files. Click on T Mobile Vibrant One Click Root and it's going to open that program with two click options the one click root and the unroot. Make sure that your phone is mounted and make sure that the USB debugging is set to on. You'll find it under settings, application, USB settings. Alright, if you have any other questions on uh, how to set it up, don't hesitate to hit me up. It's been the one and only 2007. Comment, rate, subscribe. Later.